what is going on everybody and welcome back today we're gonna go ahead and talk about season four of call of duty warzone specifically what we want what we want to see what needs to be changed and what we hope we get but before we get into that please do go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel and follow me on twitter link is in the description box below in the background i got some call of duty warzone gameplay so that's gonna help us get through it so let's get to it okay first and foremost what we have to have moving into season four we have to have duos we already have solos quads and trios you might as well go ahead and put duos in the game baby we already here and we know that it already works because duos was in plunder if it could work for plunder it can work for battle royale so go ahead and make it happen infinity ward raven software activision come on baby according to the devs it do work but they still knocking out some of the bugs so hopefully by season four we will actually have duos okay let's talk about the map for season four obviously there does need to be some changes happening but people in the cod community are bugging out they really believe that Activision, cheap ass Activision is going to allow the developers to nuke the map and start over. No, that's not happening. They're not approving that. They're definitely not going to approve that. But I'll tell you what they will do. They will add a couple of assets and hopefully they add a lot of map variety as in bring back some of the old maps and integrate it into the larger map as a whole. That sounds a lot more like the Activision we all know and we all love. Okay, continuing on, I would love to see more weapon variety when it comes to the Call of Duty Warzone map. There are a lot of weapons scattered around. Obviously, they range from common all the way up to legendary but I would like to see more of a variety potentially being able to buy perks and or attachments for my weapons with the money that you pick up throughout the map also I would like to see better weapons in the gulag Jesus Christ the 1v1 system is amazing that is a great addition to the game mode but the weapons need to be changed there need to be more of a variety when it comes to the weapons in the gulag side note big ups to the developers they finally patch some of the exploits when it comes to the game mode including the 357 snake shot akimbo bullshit that was plaguing the community i got one shot at so many times with these things when it shouldn't have been the case so i am so glad to see a nerf has finally been done correctly and they went ahead and re-enabled the helicopters because they fixed that glitch as well. So you will no longer be getting killed from under the map. Back to business. The next thing that I would love to see in season four is an overhaul of the mission systems and the rewards for said missions. I think that you should be rewarded with perks pertaining to those missions that would push people to do the missions a lot more either you should get perks or you should be able to get different attachments for your weapons that of course goes hand in hand with that buy station there's a lot of good stuff you can buy when it comes to the buy station however i believe they can add a little bit more to make the game a little bit more fun i'm not asking for much just a couple of more options out there also adjust the prices for quads so many people have their loadouts in quads because ten thousand dollars is not a lot when it comes to quads that's four people each person only has to get twenty five hundred dollars and bam you guys have a loadout drop twenty five hundred dollars is nothing okay this next one i'm really shooting my shot with i truly don't believe that this is going to happen but i'm still going to put it out there because it may or may not happen I think that the devs need to revisit the sound system when it comes to the war zone because your teammates are way too loud. What are they wearing? Bricks on their feet? Jesus, take them shits off. Walk around in your socks if you have to. But at least you could do is decrease the noise that they make and leave the enemy noise the same. I don't mind the enemy footstep sounds. I just worry about the sounds of my teammates. I've gotten killed so many times because I'm like, oh, that's my teammate walking around. Come to find out it's an enemy creeping up the steps and then wham, gulag, here I come. But that one I don't think we're gonna get, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on. Last but not least, let's go ahead and talk about the vehicles. In season four, I don't think the vehicles are gonna get much. 
I think that they did enough tuning with the vehicles. I think the vehicles are fine, but I do know that we're probably gonna get new skins when it comes to the vehicles so that they can, you know, sell more when it comes to the design and the look of the vehicles throughout the map. That's all that I think that they're gonna do. I think they're gonna add that and be done with it. I don't see much happening out of that, to be completely honest. But that's about it for me. What do you wanna see when it comes to season four? What do you want to change? What do you want added? Let me hear about it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching my video. I truly do appreciate that. And I will see you all on the next one.